Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial. Uh, so this will be the last tutorial in Convert into Room Motion and our Ridge Body. Um, we're going to basically be finishing off the jumping because if we take a look, we can't actually jump up onto this ledge. Uh, root Motion kind of stops all movement and uh, there's no movement while we're in the air. So we're going to go ahead and look at adding that now and just uh, tidying up a few little bits. Um, so what I'm going to start with is our camera. So I'm going to go into our camera controller script. I'm going to come down to position and rotation. Uh, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to disable the smoothing and uh, I'm just going to set it straight up. So we'll just do transform dot position equals uh, player controller dot camera target dot position. And what I'm also going to do now, because we're attached to a rigid body uh, that uses physics, it'll be a good idea to move the function that calls that to the follow player camera target into a fixed update instead of an update. We'll have a private fixed update. We'll just pop that in there. Okay, so have we take a look at the uh, camera's obviously now stuck to the player. Uh, it should be nice and smooth now. Okay, which will lead me on to the next item. So now we're going to go into the jumping. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a public uh, float for falling movement speed. There we go. Um, and then what we'll also do is And uh, movement right at the bottom where we commented out the original movement script um, line. We'll basically just add an if statement and what we'll say is if um, jumping is triggered or uh, is falling. So whether we're jumped or we're falling, what we want to do is character animator dot root motion. Um, so apply root motion equals false. So we're going to disable root motion because we're going to handle the uh, the movement in the air uh, manually. We'll just add an else and make sure we turn that back on. There we go. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to add a bit of movement while we're in the air. So we'll just do um, we'll have character rigid body dot add force. There we go. And uh, we'll uh, basically use player movement. So we're going to take off time delta time now because we're just using physics. It should be okay. Okay, so we'll take player movement and we'll times that by the new float we just created, which was our falling movement speed. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that comment now. So make sure that in your else you set it to true. So we we turn it off and then we turn it back on. So if we're not falling and we haven't started to jump, root motion should still be enabled. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. So as long as it works as expected, it should be okay. Um, for the falling movement speed, let's set that to uh, say like six or let's just set it to a thousand uh, just just to make sure it's working which you can see it is okay so for now we'll just set it to something like a hundred so you can see we can start to jump places with the jumping actually working. Okay, so that leads me on to another bug um, and one, one more fix we need to add. Uh, so falling movement speed, we're actually going to have two falling movement speeds. So let me just copy that, paste it down here. We're also going to have falling uh, running movement speed. Um, so when we're trying to move quick. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just have um, an inline condition here again, like we've used throughout. So I'm just going to add brackets and I'm just going to say um, 
is walking with a question mark and if it is we'll just return our normal falling movement speed and if it isn't we'll return our falling running movement speed okay um, so let's quickly just give that a value we should have falling running movement speed so I'm going to set falling movement speed to 50 and the falling running movement speed to 140 which means we can move more when we're in running so I'm just going to hit control to go into running mode what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, jump Okay, so see that actually moves me way too quick. Um, so let's uh, dumb these values down a lot. We'll do falling movement speed to 10 and falling running movement speed to 20. Let's see what this looks like now. Okay, so that's better. All right, so now we got those working. Uh, what we also want to do is you may have noticed a bug we have. Um, so if I sprint and then jump, we'll see our jumping animation still continues to play, which then results in us adding jumping force while we're not even on the ground. So what we need to do now is basically say if the character isn't grounded, um, play the falling uh, trigger and uh, basically when the add force event is called just uh, don't okay so quite easy to do um if we go through to our apply jump force what we'll do is we'll just add an if statement here so we'll just say if we're not is grounded then return Okay, so if we come back down to where we call all the triggers, you see here we call a lot of triggers. So we also have uh, our falling trigger here. So I'm just going to duplicate that and we're going to just change a few bits in here. So what I'll do, we'll say if jumping is triggered and we're not grounded, Um, then we'll just uh, trigger the falling. So if jumping's triggered and we're not grounded, we'll basically cancel it. So let's see if that fixes our issue. So firstly, we'll make sure that we can still jump and everything works as it should. As you can see, it doesn't. Um, so what we'll also do uh, with jumping triggered, we'll also add another condition. So we'll say if uh, not falling triggered. All right. So now let's give that a go. Make sure everything still works normally. Which looks like it does. And then we'll try. There we go. It's much better. So it didn't add uh, the jumping force sort of midair. Which is what we were aiming to fix. All right, so that's it for this episode. Uh, the next episodes are going to be a bit more exciting. We're going to be moving on to something different for now. We'll come back to uh, perfect the controller later on. But I think, uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.